Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh. Um, this next project um, is probably the project that made me want to start the channel. Um, I love these DIY and the epoxy table channels. I mean, I, I watch them. I watch them all. I'm probably subscribed to 20 of them. One of my favorites is a channel called Positive Couples. Um, I think they're Russian or Ukrainian or you know, from Belarus or Georgia or something. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to look that up. I'll put a link to their channel uh, in, in the description because they are one of my favorites. They are extremely talented artists. But one of the projects they did in a purse, an epoxy pour purse for his wife. And um, it turned out stunningly. Here it is right here. There's a picture. Nice, right? Isn't that cool? Um, I just, I was like, oh my God, that's really, really just, it takes a little bit of talent to do something like that, to come up with something like that off the top of your head. And, and I'd never seen anything like it before. And I thought, you know what, I can, I can, you know, if I buy a couple of tools, I could do that. It's not a big giant project. Um, but now um, I, I loved this project and I started, it started rattling around in my head. I could do this and I could do that, blah, blah, blah. So I decided to do my own version of that. And that's what this episode is about. I'm going to make a purse for my wife. Now, um, the project's already done, hint, hint. So um, I'll tell you some positives of what I did and some negatives and you can see it. Um, I think it turned out really good, but there are some major flaws in, in my design. And, and, uh, and uh, I'll tell you about those at the end of the video, but for right now, let's get into it, all right? All right. So what we're gonna do now that we have our uh, little piece of uh, aluminum foil covered board here is we're gonna put the uh, the borders on it, the sides on it to keep the resin from pouring out. So let's go ahead and get into that right now. All right, so what we're gonna use is future board. I cut it out in strips about an inch, an inch wide, and I'm gonna use a glue gun to attach this. So, um, and it, it, we're gonna, a, a couple of different layers because you really wanna get this right. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a glue gun um, and then we're gonna put a leather layer of different tape on it and then of course use the silicone on the inside of the border. So uh, again, I don't know if this is gonna work but we're gonna give it a shot. Silicone. I don't know if it's the right type. I just bought the cheapest stuff it was. Uh, so let's give it, give it a try and uh, put a big coat. I, I, I suggest that you spend a little time on this. Make sure you get the right amount. All right, so. All right, so while my uh, mold sets and uh, we get that prepared to, to actually pour the resin, let me show you what I'm going to put in. Now, I told you this was based off one I've seen on, on YouTube before um, about this awesome, awesome artist that kind of works with this stuff. Um, he used wood, like you would do the, the wood tables with the resin pours. Um, I, I, I wanted to try something a little bit different. So, uh, so what I'm using are Wait. I'm using a set of floor tiles. These are glass floor tiles or wall tiles or bathroom tiles or whatever you want. And then I'm gonna mix them with some smaller squares that I have here. And I got a bunch of, a bunch of different colors. So this is what I'm gonna use.
so I have one side done already and uh, it's already in the mold. I haven't poured the resin yet. I'm gonna wait until both of them, my other, my other mold is drying still and I still have to glue all the tiles into the mold uh, before we can pour. So I'm gonna do both, I'll pour both at the same time. But I've got one side already done. So let me show you what I got here. This will be in the mold. This will be the side of the purse. Uh, you can see the different tiles on there. All right, you can see they're, they're kind of different sizes, so it should have a pretty good texture inside the resin, I'm hoping. Again, I don't know, first time. All right, hello, welcome back. All right, it's day two. Yesterday, uh, we went over um, doing the molds and, and setting all the tiles in there, and today is my favorite day, it's pour day. So, um, I'm hoping these molds that I make held up. Again, this is my first attempt of anything this complicated, or this is not complicated, but it's this intricate, I guess. Um, got the molds ready, uh, I've got my cups measured out, I have my resin. Now this is, um, it's called Pro Marine. Uh, this is a Thai brand resin, it's local, so I picked it up. It's, it's made for, it's epoxy resin, one-to-one, -one, tabletop and artwork resin. I, I have never used it, so I don't know if it's any good or not, we will find out. I followed all the YouTube rules on how to do this, so we'll see. Um, now, what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to pour a, I'm going to mix a white, uh, like a pearl white in this one, and it's going to be really, really thin, maybe an eighth of an inch or a quarter inch at most. I don't want it to cover the tiles, and then I'll pour another uh, just plain, no color let level over the top of that. So it's going to be two pours. I'm going to use an, a syringe and uh, pour the resin in here and then squirt it around the tiles and let it settle on with the, hopefully I don't get any on the tiles. That's my point. Um, so let's go ahead and get, get to it and uh, we'll see how it turns out. I may have to remold that bottom. Live and you learn. Let's see. Okay, good. All right, these two pieces are hard. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can separate that from the mold. good okay uh, some spots in there that aren't great but that's the inside uh, the top is nice and hard all right so that's good all right all in all came out pretty good all right so here we are again back outside it's a sanding and prep day for the purse part this is the bottom of the purse I'll give you and so uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sand it up get it get it prepped and ready to do it's got a little bit of a bow so I'm gonna have a little bit of a uh, little bit of a actually a lot of a lot of sanding to do i'm really excited about today because i got a brand new brand new car um i got wait 
Okay, I just broke my brand new sander. I got a brand new sander here. Uh, I can't wait to use it. it. Should be fun. Be interesting to see how it works. Messless, the messless sander, I guess. <laughs> okay, I'm really new at this. All right, so uh, another thing, um, you'll have to excuse me. Uh, I, I'm just gonna be really sweaty, but um, I live in Bangkok and it's really hot here. I don't know if you know your geography, but um, it's real close to the sun, like really close. And uh, let's get started, all right? So what I was trying to do with this is to make it look like the tiles were encased in ice. So I, I mixed a clear and really mellow white with a blue for the, for the casing, for the whole thing. And I, it really does look like ice. I mean, really, I was, I didn't know if it would work or not, but it turned out really good. The casing turned out really good. It looks like ice. It really does. And that's what that was my whole plan was to make it look like it was cased in ice. And I think I got the effect, the look I was looking for. So that's the whole side of the purse right there. I've got it sanded down and I'm, I'm letting it dry. I got another layer of resin over it to make it shiny. Um, it turned out really nice. It, it really did. You can see right here I made some huge I tried to router the edge. Yeah, that didn't do very well. Still looks like ice, <laughs> chipped ice. So yeah, I mean, it turned out really good. All right, so uh, now what I gotta do is I gotta put the hardware on the purse. We're gonna get this lined up and uh, get these four hinges here on it. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere safe. I'm gonna try to get it as even as I can and then we will once I get these marked up my problem is uh, these are not all straight so I'm hoping that that it doesn't look too off uh, it may I may end up having to redo it but we'll see All right, so this next part, uh, I, I have to be honest, I was a little worried about. Uh, <laughs> I have absolutely zero experience at patterns or cutting out material. So I went and bought a couple of little handy dandy tools, a little uh, fabric cutter. I watched some YouTube videos on how to do that. And um, so I did, I took some dimensions off of my piece here. Of course, this is not it's not finished. I've got quite a bit of work to do. I got to finish all the edges and, and I got to change out the hinges. Those hinges are blah, blah. And, uh, but I wanted to get my material for the inside and the sides. And I had to create the pattern myself. And I really honestly wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do it or not. Um, lo and behold, <clears throat> I must have some them Y and Z's kind of mixed together a little bit because uh, I got it. 
So I got a pattern cut out and this will go in. You see, I drew the lines. So this will sit here. These lines will go up here. This will, these will go up on the sides and this will come wrap around the side. So it sits in there like that. You turn that to the side. So those will go there. And then these pieces will go up around the side here. And what I did was I cut two pieces. Then what I did is I took that pattern and I tested it and it worked fine. So I kept, I'm going to keep this pattern because I'm probably going to make more of these. This one at the end of the video, I'll tell you why this particular one isn't going to be really worth anything. Uh, <laughs> Uh, because I made some, some big mistakes that I can't fix and, um, but you, you live and learn. I'm going, definitely going to make, um, another one. Um, and this one's going to look really good, but there are a couple of problems and we'll go over that at the end of the video of why this one isn't going to work quickly, but I don't sew at all. Not even a little bit. The good thing is I live in Thailand. So, and then I can have it done here in Thailand by the lady who sews all my clothes for like a buck 50. It's not very, it's not very expensive. She'll probably charge me like maybe 60 baht, two bucks to do it. I'll give it to her, drop it off, show, tell her what I want and come back the next day and pick it up and it'll be finished. I am going to make it some more that other ones. I'm, I love the look of this. You can see through this thing. Um, I, I think it's just awesome. I think it just has a, a really good flair to it. I, I really love it. Um, but I'm almost done with this and I, I it's going to look awesome. I think, I mean, I've kind of laid it out of how it's going to look and I think it's going to look great. But, um, at the end of the video, stick around, I'll tell you why it's not really going to be functional, especially for my wife. Um, she's probably not going to be able to use it, but it'll look good. So the purse is finished. Are you ready to see the finished project? Huh? Are you ready? I think it turned out really cool. Uh, so we will definitely go over the, the pros and cons of what I did and, uh, but the finished project looks pretty good. Let's take a look. Wow. Let's get a little closer, closer. <laughs> see the bottom? Got the cloth in between and lift the snap up. Huh? <laughs> Turned out pretty good. Super shiny. So I'm very happy with it. It turned out really good. Major flaw though. <clears throat> 
it's about three pounds. <laughs> it's really, really heavy. Um, it's, it's basically useless. You can't use it. Uh, my wife, it's just, it's way too heavy. So uh, I'm going to make another one and I'm going to uh, uh, omit a, and just do an epoxy with maybe some other designs that's something that's lightweight. The design was really good. It turned out the design and what it looks like turned out really good. I'm really happy with it. It's just too heavy to use. So, um, if you like that, I'm going to make another one in, a, in probably, probably in four or five episodes from now, I'm going to do another one. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I hope you like this episode. I hope you like it. Please go back and watch some of my other episodes, like, share, subscribe, do all the fun stuff that keeps me making these. Uh, I hope you had a good time. All right. So I'll see you on the next project. <laughs>